afternoon, everyone. Christopher Theophilus Lopez, born 27th of June 1961, to the late Gloria Lopez and the late Lincoln Gibbons. He was raised by our maternal grandmother, who was Ida Lopez. He was the first of seven children born to Gloria. He was born hearing and speech impaired. Christopher attended the Irvin Wilson School. After leaving school, he worked at numerous garment factories throughout the island. He began at Corvette's Garment Factory, which was situated on the Harbor Road. As a very talented person he was with his hands, he taught his sister Agneta, cousins Linda and Rosalind, how to braid hair. That was demonstrated with coconut tree leaves. Christopher loved to cook, as he was a very good cook. He was slim in, in stature, but had a huge appetite. At mealtime, his plate had to consist of large servings of food. He was very meticulous about his appearance and the home. As you all can see, how he's lying there with us today, that was Christopher. Christopher was a member of the hearing and speech impaired fraternity that gathers to socialize on weekends near the Fair Church Street bus terminal and Mar History in Bridgetown. When not hanging out with friends, he would spend his time watching a good movie, or poovie, as he would call it. He was also a very strong swimmer and loved going to the beach, especially on Sunday evenings. Christopher was very protective of his maternal sisters. He loved all of us, although I believe his favorite sis was Denise. For me, being a baby sister, he used to, he always used to tell me I am pretty. And he said it by the action of rubbing his palm against his right cheek. He was accommodating, humble, loving, kind, and took good care of support of and supported his family members. He became ill and encountered vision loss during his later years and was institutionalized. Despite the challenges he faced in his life, he remained in good spirits and always kept a positive attitude. He leaves some more his sisters, brothers, nephews, nieces, great nephews and great nieces, cousins, numerous family members, and many dear friends. Christopher, our dearly beloved brother Chris, you will be remembered always. We love you. Take your rest until we meet again. I shall now take this moment to say a big thank you to everyone attending in person and viewing online. We are grateful to those who called, sent text messages, cards, prayed for the family, and who in any other way sympathized with us during this time. We thank you.